Welcome to Silver Star Steak Company Wine Blog. I am Francois, General Manager of Silver Star Steak Company, and with me today I have... My name is Tracy. I'm a wine consultant with George's Distributing here in Helena. And Tracy and I work closely together to uh, pick wines out for the Silver Star Steak Company Wine by the Glass list, and today we're going to taste a little Sauvignon Blanc. Perfect. Not only Sauvignon Blanc, this is a French Sauvignon Blanc. Of course, some of my favorite. <laughs> Absolutely. So what can you tell me about this uh, Domaine de Tariquet? So this little wine is grown in the Gascony region of France. Um, they are well known for seafood and also the grape that is grown for... Oh, Armagnac. Armagnac. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, French yes. style of uh, cognac, but from the Armagnac region of France. So. Exactly. And what's exactly. fun about this wine, it's actually a screw top. So it's going to make it easy for me today. I won't be needing my wine opener. And in the wine world, we actually call the screw cap a Stelvin closure. Oh, invented by Mr. Stelvin? Exactly. There you go. Huh. Well, let's pour a little bit. What can we tell people about a Stelvin enclosure? Well, I think a lot of people are associating Stelvin enclosure with um, a poor quality of wine. As a matter of fact, it is very, it's non-traditional. So the French are actually starting to go to Stelvin enclosure, but there are always going to be those traditionalists who will never, ever no, go to Stelvin yeah, enclosure. So people, I think but, Australia did a lot uh, towards the Stelvin enclosure, yes. but at least, at least we won't have to worry about the wine being corked today. It will not be corked, and you will not get your wine key taken away in the airport, and it's perfect for um, skiing, mountain biking. Right. You can go boating with it. Very easy opening. Crack it open. Well, yes. let's try some wine today. So this is 100% Sauvignon Blanc. It is stainless steel fermentation, so you will get a little acidity on that mm -hmm. as well. Perfect. Well, let's see what we get. Ooh, I love yes, French love, Sauvignon Blanc. A little minerality, a little flintiness to it. Um. You always get a little bit of grapefruit with Sauvignon Blanc, but this one isn't so bad. It doesn't bite the back of your palate. And it doesn't have that green kind of uh, asparagus-y flavor that you get in New Zealand. It's a completely totally different. Totally different, yes. yes. And it's a little bit lighter than a domestic Sauvignon Blanc. You get more lemon creaminess, I believe, in a domestic Sauvignon Blanc. So I find French to be a very balanced Sauvignon oh. Blanc. You don't it, get it, one extreme or the other. Exactly. Easy to drink and of course always well with food. Definitely. And especially from a region like that, a good seafood, maybe a little shrimp cocktail, a nice a salmon, salmon dish. Salmon, yes, would be great. Yes. Uh, even a chicken, like our chicken trianon on the menu or something go well. But also a lovely wine just to hang out at the bar and drink on a nice afternoon. And a, you can even do it on a cold day by oh, a fire. Yes, I could, I could easily drink this any time. So. Well, next, uh, another excellent wine by the glass here at the Silver Star. Well, Santé. Oh, what, what does that mean? Santé. So, in Italy, it's Salud, but in France, it's Santé, and it means to your health. So, to your oh. health, Santé, and uh, come join Just us at Silver, Silver Star, Star for a glass of wine. <laughs>